Okay, I'm over here at a friend's house, and he's got a Geiger counter. Isn't that what this is? And we're going to do the radioactivity of these ra uranium dials. Uh, radon dials, I mean. Or, 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 yeah, uh, radium. Radium. And then we got this rock up here that's got some um, uranium. uranium in it. And we're going to see how active they are. Scale times ten. And what's the other one here? It's a little bit hotter, isn't it? Okay. And then that rock up there. Pegs it on that scale, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, you have to go times a hundred for it. Now, where do you find the rock like that at? Well, these actually came from New Mexico. Okay. But you can find them right here in Oklahoma and Custer County. Oh. You can find uranotite. This is pitch blend. Huh. Okay. This is uran this is pitch blend. This came from Wyoming. It's all that much is 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 actually hotter than that rock. How dangerous are these? It's not. You have to eat it to have problems. Here's an actual piece of uranium with a pitch blend in it. Yeah, that's a, uh, a thorium lamp mantle? Yes. For a Coleman lantern? Yep. Okay, yeah. And we're actually on a higher scale than what you use for the yeah. alarm clock dials, right? Yeah, we're on a hundred times. Okay. We're only using ten times for the, for the alarm clocks. So that's much hotter than the alarm clock dials? Yep. Okay. Well, there we have it. There was the clock dials versus uh, other items. So next video, I'll take the um, other clock apart. That looks just like this one. So this is Oklahoma Bridges. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for watching.